uh, ab initio problem yeah maybe it could be asked in ab initio interview questions right so we have an uh, input this kind of records we have two fields uh, having uh, these are the values right inside it so column 2 is having these kind of values okay and then we need to have an output like this column 1 column 2 and there are two more column sequence 1 and sequence 2 sequence signifies that uh, the uh, the occurrence uh, the of the these groups right so a a is first group b is second group right so this uh, uh, the occurrence of the key group and the this value right and this sequence number 2 right it signifies that the what is the value of the second column right the occurrence of the second column right so for first uh, group right so we have assigned sequence number 1 right so first field for the first group would be 1 right in the output and then within that the another sequence right within that the column 2 is like a and b will be labeled as 1.2 and 1.2 1.1 and 1.2 respectively right in sequence so similarly for the group number b so second group and within that there would be a like c d e the column second values right so these will be labeled as 2.1 so this part the first part would be the uh, the the sequence of the group and then the sub sequence within that okay so this kind of arrangement is there in the input data and output data so while looking at the data but uh, we can think of right so uh, we have to uh, process is like um, we need to uh, design a graph right first of all what we would do is like we need to assign a sequence for the first group right so there are two ways of doing it maybe we can roll up first and then assign a number to it or what we can do is uh, like using scan also we can do it and then probably we we would try to join it we don't have to increase the number of records in the output right in the sense of we don't need normalize in this case right so whatever the number of records we have in input would be the number of records in output so that that we don't have to do it right so only thing is we need to label the sequences right the for the group and the the second field right so in this question we have a column 1 as a group column 1 signifies the group right key group so here in like what we can do is like i need to zoom out actually so uh, this uh, you know uh, complete uh, is the kind of uh, sequence of components i need to use maybe this is kind of one solution it could be another solution right so let's replicate the data input data and then what we can do is we can roll up it and then assign the sequence for this this group right we we are not care, uh, we don't care about this one because we know the key right a so we are not in the upper flow we are not don't care about the column number 2 okay we only care uh, uh, rolling up and then assigning the sequence okay so to assign the sequence <clears throat> we can use the like maybe next in sequence those kind of thing we can use or maybe we can use the scan maybe roll up or scan right so first of uh, uh, output of this uh, what we need to do is like output of this should be like uh, we would have you know we will have a a the a a this a group and then sequence number 1 for b group there will be two so this kind of output we want to achieve here a 1 b comma 2 right so by whatever uh, component you can use but what we need to do is for each group we want this one okay and then we can use the join so when you do join so you can uh, you can create this this kind of output and up till here don't look at the sequence number 2 look at the sequence until the 
three fields okay so that kind of output after joining we can do inner join we need to do okay and then if we do the scan then uh, while scanning we can create this kind of record this kind of this field we can create using the sequence uh, using the scan so in scan component we can manipulate maybe a couple of fields right and then we can create one more field having the sequence number and the concatenated value for a particular uh, you know record can be uh, placed in the output okay so let's look at the um, uh, the scan uh, basically so main component is scan here or here all right so up till here we can do and the uh, the lower part is like everything you know whatever we have in input therefore the output of join will be like column 1 column 2 and sequence number 1 all those three columns will have so if you look at the scan component we can declare temporary type right so that we can uh, manipulate these fields uh, while our scan uh, transform runs right and then we can initialize it maybe the sub sequence as a uh, with the zero value string and count as one okay because count is decimal and sub sequence is string right in scan we can uh, manipulate the sub sequence into count count is always going to be increasing one two so we are initially already for one for the first record it will be one and uh, subsequently it will be incrementing for a particular group right for the count and the subsequence in between we can calculate right using the sequence so all the record which are below which are belonging to the first group the prefix part is going to be the this sequence number right this one the one which we got after the join right so then we can you know append the dot and then you know we can uh, temp dot count we can we can have <clears throat> so for the first record there will be always be one for the subsequent all the record it will be incremented value 1.1 1.2 right dot 123 temp dot count is going to be incrementing for a particular for all the records subsequently for a particular group right and then uh, you will have the output in the final edge now dot call one is equal to call one always column two is column two and then sequence is going to be always the same only the uh, on in the only the uh, modified value right will be uh, in the finalized function okay will be assigned temp dot subsequence so only the subsequent uh, value is we are going to modify this is only for the tracking purpose okay so this kind of manipulation uh, you can try and uh, create okay so only the three to four components and those uh, you can see the scenarios you can uh, you can think of and then you can utilize those components in your graphs while creating the graphs okay thank you so much please subscribe my channel and uh, we can have a series of advanced concepts in abinitio with respect to the op uh, optimization of the graph how max score assigned what is the value of the max score maybe some continuous flow graphs and the advanced subgraphs like dynamic subgraph and linked subgraph those kind of concepts we are going to see or icff advanced icff how we use the icff in continuous graphs right and what is the direct index icff or secondary icff okay and uh, other more concepts which are related to maybe uh, maybe web services also okay so in continuous graph there are two types right one is request response type which are covered under uh, you know web services when request comes from the from the external uh, application and then uh, our ab initio components accept that request and then process it serve it and prepare the response and submit back to the requester to the client right that kind of is one kind of continuous graph another kind of continuous graph is uh, you know you know publisher subscriber like uh, we will have a queues right different queues maybe ab initio queues or jms queues or mqs right 
so uh, we get the data now in continuous uh, manner right continuously we are getting the data in in, uh, in the form of queues right and per, uh, process those records there are components dedicated to the uh, you know continuous also there are components which can be used both in continuous and uh, uh, and uh, you know um, batch graph so uh, right so utilize those components and prepare the uh, output record in terms of maybe file system or prepare uh, or another queue type right so uh, right so that kind of uh, you know, things we are going to see in our next videos thank you so much